era adjusted scoring, a fascinating topic. Today, Steve Dangle puts the era adjusted blender on Henrik Sedin. Have a look. Think of someone in the NHL whose career deserves more respect. Look, everyone appreciates a player who's had an amazing career once they're gone and retired. But over the past couple of years, I've been trying to highlight players who are amazing and still here. Today, I want to focus on Henrik Sedin, one of the best pure playmakers of all time. Of all time? Did I stutter? His raw statistics are fantastic, but when you adjust his numbers for era, they're even better. During the 2009-2010 season, Henrik Sedin put up 83 assists. Adjusting for era actually bumps that up a little bit to 87. Since the 1967 expansion, there are only six players who have put up more era adjusted assists than that in a season. Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, Bobby Orr, Joe Thornton, Ron Francis, and Yarmir Yager. These are the bulls that Henrik Sedin's legacy is running with here. He just hit 800 career assists, but because his career began during the dead puck era, his numbers get boosted. And in terms of era adjusted assists, he'll probably be at 900 by the end of the season. So what constitutes a pure playmaker? Well, a lot of people call Joe Thornton a pure playmaker and about 72% of his points are assists. Or a guy like Adam Oates, 75% of his points were assists. That's a lot. As it stands right now, 77% of the points Henrik Sedin has ever scored have been assists. He doesn't even have a 30 goal season to his name, but this guy is probably going to end up in the Hockey Hall of Fame one day. Wait, how does he make it into the Hall of Fame if he didn't even score 30 goals in one year? I don't know. You'll have to ask Bob Gainey and Igor Larionov because they're two guys who managed to pull that off as well. He's kind of in the twilight of his career, a bit of a reduced role in the Canucks, but he's not done yet. Still third in team scoring. But the reason I'm talking about Henrik Sedin right now and the reason I wrote about him for Sportsnet.ca is you shouldn't wait until a player is retired to appreciate their legacy. He's still a treat to watch. Just enjoy it. Oh yeah, I hear his brother's pretty good too.